Hello everyone and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. Today I wanted to do a quick video before our next storm hits us and share with you a little bit of what's happening to Athene. Now, if you've been following our channel, you know that Athene is the daughter of Clara. She was one of the quads that Clara had back in February of this year. And I was really eager to breed her and kind of start something, a new line there um, from Clara, directly from Clara. When I got my goats, Annabelle and Mocha came already bred, but Mocha, but Mocha, but Clara had already delivered uh, before moving with us. She had her babies in February and we got her in April in milk. So she was bred at the end of 2021 and she delivered February of 2022. Now, out of the quads, the only girl we got was one and it was Athene and I just couldn't wait to breed her. Um, Athene, I like everything that I, that I see about her and I am really eager to see see her freshen and see what her udder looks like, how much she produces, because if I'm being honest, I'm trying to replicate a little Clara for myself. Um, Clara's about six, if not, she's, I think she, next spring she'll be seven, and every time I think about breeding Clara, I'm trying to strategize because those are not like bugs. Bugs can have hundreds of kids per season, but girls, they only are able to have, and in the case of Clara, she had quads. But still, you know, that, that was with one buck. And so now I'm trying to really think about who's going to be the next buck that is going to get the best out of Clara. And that's why I am really excited to breed little Athene because she was the one girl I was able to get from that combination of Clara and Rocky. And what it's going to tell me if that combination it's good to keep repeating or if it's something that I should find another bug to improve on. Having said that, my breeding plants are not really as I thought they were gonna be. To be honest, in the beginning, I wanted to kid, I mean, to all the girls to kid in the month of February and be done or milking by the beginning of March. Well, that didn't happen because they didn't go into heat at that time, so it really pushed us to the beginning of March. Clara and Gaia were bred the same day. I think they are due on March 1st. Uh, I'm gonna put the dates. If I'm mistaken, I'm gonna put the dates on the screen. But they are gonna they're gonna be due on March 1st. Then Briere went a short cycle, so I put her back with Dom and she's supposed to deliver, I think it's March 3rd. And then Annabelle and Mocha went on the same date and they had a date with Dom and I think they're due on the 5th. So in the first week I have <laughs> a lot, five different moms that are going to be due and we are going to expand we're going to create some more kidding rooms and room for babies but but if you notice the one that is not bred is Athene I've been having the hardest time to catch Athene in standing heat I get her in a heat I put her with Dom as I showed you uh, during that rainstorm and what happened is that she by the time I put her with Dom she's not in a standing heat anymore so she was flagging she was very like you could tell she was very much in heat but by the time I brought Dom then she wasn't so it's like her standing heat it's only lasting a couple of hours so this is what I decided to do so since her heat cycles are really hard to spot. I decided to put her with Dom in a different pen and let them be with each other to make sure that Dom was able to breed her. And even if we get some kids in April, I really want a thin bread. I don't want her to get fat. And typically the longer that you wait after they hit the mark, 
at least in my experience with my girls which are the twins it really helps them gain some weight and that's exactly what you don't want in with dairy goats so i put her with dom and dom is such a sweet boy i mean he really is and i was confident that they were gonna get along and they did but athena was miserable I left her there for about three days together and she was so, so miserable. She was crying. She was, and, and the sad thing about Athene is that she's not loud. So I can hear her crying very softly like, mm, mm, mm. that's her crying. Uh, she's very, very um, soft in the way that she cries and it's almost like a real baby cry but like a sad cry and I decided to pull her out and bring her and leave her with the girls and just kind of forget about the breeding if I am able to catch her in a standing heat then I will bring Dom I'll make sure they breed two or three times and then you know she'll have her babies whenever she'll have her babies but at this point, for those that of you that are wondering, if I'm not able to catch her, she's right here looking at me like, what are you talking about me? Um, so if I'm not able to catch her in a standing heat, then that's gonna just tell me that I just need to hold on. I just need to wait until she's able to be in a standing heat that I am able to see it from here because she's only nine months old and for some people nine months old is like you know it's almost adult um, but for me Athene is so very quiet she's so very sweet and I know I, I can see how much she suffers every time I separate her from the girls there are other girls like Clara. Clara, I can separate Clara and she doesn't care. Um, like, she'll be loud for a few minutes, but then she'll get used to it. The twins, if I separate them, like the twins themselves, they will be a nightmare. Um, but if I separate Mocha, she's just fine. However, it's, it's really important for me to make sure that I am only pushing as far as they can go. And I just couldn't excuse leaving her there because I knew that she was more stressed than anything. And by being stressed, she wasn't going to be able to go into heat as normally, if at all. Um, one of the things I learned myself is that sometimes when goats are under one their cycles can be a little bit more silent than others and kind of depends of the goat if you remember um annabelle's little girl um uh, ava she was in heat at 12 weeks old and i didn't know what it was i thought she was sick talk to the vet, check a few things, and realize she was just in heat. So she was loud, uh, but for the most part, like my twins, they were not in a raging heat cycle until they turned one. So I don't know if it's a sign that I shouldn't breed her and maybe I should wait a little bit longer, but I just didn't want to stress her over. So that's why I haven't really, you know, been talking about how excited I am about her because as excited as I am to see her develop, to see her babies, to see her outer, uh, I just can't really do that in a way that I feel good about it so if I'm not feeling good about it I'm not gonna do it um, I'm still excited about the twins having their babies in early March um, I think they're very I don't know if you have juniors or dry yearlings as they are called but typically they are at this point in my experience with them they're kind of rebelling and they're being super super wild um, they are not as trusting as a mom, like as Clara, Mocha, or Annabelle. They're always like, you You guys saw it. I'm training them to the stand. They're doing better. I need to do a video about that. But like they throw themselves on the floor. Briere plays dead. 
um, I mean, it's a whole thing. It's like, uh, it's, it's like their hormones are kind of raging and going crazy. And it's completely different from um, seasoned dough like Clara or Mocha or even Annabelle that only kitted twice. So to me, to me, it's really important to make sure that we are having babies that will be old enough to be bred the next fall um, if they're going to have their babies in early spring. I just didn't like the experience of keeping the twins dry for over a year in order to be bred. I think their behavior, it's like, it, it kind of enhances as they grow. And I'm not saying they're misbehaving or anything like that. I am just saying that the more that you work with them in the stand, the better that they behave, the better those that they, 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 they become for you. And that's not something that I can do with the twins. Um, I mean, I can put them on the stand and they're doing so much better, but that that connection as you're milking is not there and it's been a little bit challenging so I don't think I'm gonna have that problem with this little girl right here um, she is oh so very sweet and she is so <laughs> so trusting of people and everything but it might be that at some point when she is the twins age, you know, over a year, that she uh, turns into a little bit of a hormonal queen and, you know, this sweetness and this quietness goes away. Is it possible? Yeah, it's possible. Um, <laughs> she's looking a little chunky. She always does. Uh, she's still a little girl and it's going to start to develop. She's also very fluffy because of the winter coat. But I am sad to tell you that she will be bred in a theme time. It, it's not gonna be on my time. It's gonna be when she's ready to tell me that she's in heat. And that way, I don't, I don't want her to be really sad with Dom over there and like I said Dom is not aggressive he's not mean he's actually very very sweet to the girls even if they're in heat or they're not it's just her that is she as you can see she is a love bug she just really does better with the girls and her mom and that's how it is you know all those are different they all have different personalities, different things that they like, different things that they want to do. Look, she's making that sweet face. Are you gonna go in heat? Maybe. She's not flying or anything, so I'm keeping a close eye on her. I'm starting today, and if in two or three weeks, if she doesn't go into heat, noticeable heat that I can put her with Dom, then we're just gonna wait until she's ready to tell me that she is very ready to have children and I'm gonna have to be very very patient how can I I mean how how can I put her through something she absolutely hates like being away from her friends and her mom with this face how can you how can I she is a replica of her dad not as far as colors but as far as personality this every time I pet her and I see her in camera uh, just her face <laughs> I can um, see Rocky being what do you want what? oh you're so cute I just want to have a head head scratch I check them bodies. Sometimes she has a discharge before she goes into heat. She doesn't seem to have one. My girls are so used to me checking their back ends that at this point they're just like, okay, I guess she's gonna look at my vagina now. Hmm? Okay. 
chewing the cut. Mm -hmm. So anyways, thank you so much for being here today. I thought I should clarify a few things. And since... Oh, she's trying to nurse. I mean, if that's... And Clara stands for her. I'm telling you. She's not ready to be a mom. You're not ready, sweet girly. You're not ready, huh? I just want to be a baby forever with your mama. Mm -hmm. Clara, would you please stop eating my camera? Thanks, girl. So how could I breed this girl that is still trying to nurse? <laughs> 